Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to the long-delayed, or I guess, it's been a while, Unity shenanigans. I'm gonna do a couple more episodes for you guys, and then I am going to finally start focusing on 100%ing the game, because I only have about five achievements left to get, and, um, yeah. So, I've done quite a lot since, uh, since we last left off. As you can see, I am now a master in rank. Uh, which is above assassin. I don't know how many I have left, but I know legend is the highest and I am master right now, but we're here in front of the Notre Dame. I also have the, is it called the Rose Scepter as a weapon? You get that from the Dead Kings DLC through one of the Paris stories, which is very interesting. It was buried with the last queen of France. So we're gonna go ahead and do some stuff. I left, I mean, I still, I've collected all of the chests, all of the cockades, all of the bicorn hats in France Yard. Um, what else? Um, I have the companion app, so I've been getting nomad chests, slowly but surely. And, uh, yeah, I've been busy. And so, you know what? This one is one I've been looking at for a while, and I really want to do it. God fucking damn it, come on. Highlight with the one I want. This one. The Red Ghost of the Tuileries. I really want to do that one. Because it sounds interesting, and I found it on accident. I was hopping around trying to get a chest, and the room that had the chest in it also had a dead guy in it. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, the red ghost of the Tuileries. <gasps> that sounds awesome. So we're going to go ahead and head over there and do that right now. And I also have a black flag on Xbox One now. So maybe I'll do a couple videos in that. I don't know, just to show off the difference between Xbox One and uh, uh, 360. Because when I recorded Black Flag, the story, I didn't have HD capture. I had just the standard Rock Show game capture, and it was freaking annoying. And uh, there were a couple, the last few episodes of Black Flag shenanigans were with my HD capture, but even so, you know. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll do some open world stuff. It'd be kind of nice to go back and do some Black Flag shenanigans after so long. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be awesome, so maybe I'll do that. And also, if you guys want to see more rogue shenanigans, I have not touched that game since I beat it. It's moments like these when I wish we had the buzzer from Far Cry 4. Also, if you guys want to see Far Cry 4 shenanigans... I'll do that for you. But I actually, I am doing the story off camera. Sorry. But that past week, I needed to distract myself as much as possible, and so I hopped in and started playing the story of Far Cry 4. My apologies. Get in the window, in the window, in the window. Thank you. All right. He's in here. But I've been in here. Haven't I? Maybe I'm thinking of a different murder mystery. God damn it. I can't itch my head and pick a lock at the same time, apparently. There we go. Uno. Damn it. I haven't played this game in a few days, okay? <laughs> Same spot three times in a row. I suck. Oh my god. Okay, just... Just... There we go. Three. Alright, Jesus Christ. That was five of my lockpicks, I think. Alright, here he is. I must be... Oh no, because I got the artifact in here. Okay, never mind. The Red Ghost of the Tuileries solved a mysterious death in the corridors of power. Okay, here we go. Find the murderer. I want to investigate the body first. Is that a thing? Yes. Still like, ugh, I hate how the... That! How the database entries pop up right where the freaking thing is supposed to be. That was stupid of them to not notice. Anyway. Body of Director Baudouin. A middle-aged, or Baudouin, excuse me. A middle-aged man shot through the head in an apparent suicide. Oh. He still holds a fancy red pistol whose barrel lies in the deceased's mouth. Really? Because it looks like it's in his hand in the picture. An invitation. Citizen Baudouin, please accept our invitation to an intimate soirée, so soirée, I think, to be held at our home. Ten Rue de Prouvaire. With great affection, Frederic and Brigitte von Gluck. Gluck? What? That's an umlaut, I know, but what sound does that make? I don't know. That's actually kind of close to my ancestors' names. My distant family, uh, came from, we came from Germany, and our last name was Kluck. <laughs> K-L-U-K. Very interesting. Von Gluck Mansion. Oh, shit! Wow, the mansion! That's kind of cool. Okay, well, the mansion's over there. Fourth is the door, and oh my. Oh, here we go. There we go. Small glass vials containing a foul-smelling liquid. They are marked as brewed by local apothecary. 137 Rue Saint-Honoré. 
Hmm. Love letter. My dearest Baudois, you cannot imagine the emotion with which I write. My husband has uncovered our liaison. Uh-oh. He's furious and in his rages threatens you with mortal injury. Oh, my love, I knew I should have returned to Austria rather than continue our affair, but our time together was too, too sweet. Brigitta. Oh, sh <gasps> That's a problem. So, the Von Glucks, Glucks, I have no idea, invited Baudouin to dinner. But was that before or after the husband knew? I don't know. But maybe it was inflicted post-mortem. Maybe it was murdered a different way, and then they decided to stick the barrel in his mouth and pull the trigger to deter my efforts. Could be possibly. First valet. I've actually overheard many very ghostly noises, and even the ghost speaking through that very door. Baudouin, alone in the room, and the ghost speaking with a terrifying accent. I've heard this several times. A terrifying accent? What exactly classifies as a terrifying accent? Honestly, never heard that before. We just now heard a shot. Third valet. We all ran to find out what happened. I believe it was the red ghost. A few nights ago, I saw the ghost myself. Yeah, okay. I turned a corner and saw him disappear right through this door. Hmm. Dressed in red with an unutterably horrific expression. A terrifying accent or horrific expression? I feel like I should be picturing Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that. This is the chopper! What about My you? Irv Legal. Okay. Director of Finance Baudouin. He locked himself in his office well over a day ago. For some weeks he's been in a state of agitation. It's very sad that it ended this way. Hmm. Shame. Long ago, a Bavarian murderer oh, Bavarian, was huh? nearby, and his red ghost has haunted this palace to this day. Have you seen the painting? It appeared from nowhere just yesterday. Painting? That painting? No, that's not a painting. Just kidding. What painting are you talking about? Okay, I believe I've talked to all four of you now. What painting am I... Oh, wow. That painting. You look familiar. A terrifying... I wouldn't classify that as terrifying. Painting of the red ghost who haunts the Tuileries. The painting appears to be stained with dark spotches of dried blood. Oh, wow, it is. Look at that. Okay, maybe that is a little disconcerting. But the painting itself, I would not consider terrifying. That one painting. I don't, I don't remember who did it. I don't remember what the name of the painting was, but it was something about... It looked like some weird cult ritual in which they were, like, dissecting babies or something. Now, that's, that's a terrifying painting. That? No. <laughs> the blood is a little disconcerting, but that's not part of the original painting. Oh, there is a second something here on the table. Let me read it. My esteemed director of finances, the event and apparitions have... No doubt, put you under great stress. If I can be helpful in any way, my personal address is 5 Rue Fromento. Respectfully, Councillor Degal. Oh! You, back there. His assistant. So, but, okay. I don't even know what to think right now. I still have four more clues to find. Blood on the door. Okay, here we go. Handwritten in what seems to be blood. Baudouin, I know the evil that lies in your heart. Your end is near. Oh, that's scary. Just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Ah, over there. Oh, there's two things here on the table I missed. Wow. Three! Jesus. Newspaper. A small advertisement is circled. Card players are invited to join an exclusive table, discreetly situated in a corner of the Palais Royal. Gentlemen of irreproachable character only, please. Okay. What about this? An odd looking vent trap that doesn't match. Any others found in the Tuileries? You suggesting something's hidden in there? Ooh, I, I don't know. And this. Baudouin's bank account shows a series of large withdrawals and is now empty. A creditor is demanding reimbursement for invalid checks. The reg registry shows Baudouin's personal address as 19 Rue de la... Uh... 
Rue de la Coquillère? I, no. Co Coquille, soliloquy, no freaking clue. Bank registry. Okay, so that's all the clues here in the office. I guess. Let's see, where should we head first? I'm curious about the Von Gluck mansion. Counselor's house? Well, you know what? That's closest. Let's go ahead and go for that. Aha! Here we go. Alright, three clues. There's one right here. Letter from Baudouin, respected Counselor Legal. These apparitions, whether real or imagined, that should be an R, dear, strike horror in my heart. I swear I have seen objects in my office move of their own volition. It is as if the ghost haunted the walls behind my office. Office? Did I just say office? <laughs> I feel my reason slipping from me and rely on your steadfast advice. What am I to do, Baudouin? Hmm. I think the husband of the affair did it. And uh, he used his fear of the ghost as advantage. I've been in here before. There's a chest here. I think that's one of the locked ones. Anyway, I saw one over here. It's not trigger eagle vision just yet. I'm not totally inept. Whoop. There we are. Official looking letter. Citizen Legal, this missive is to confirm our conversations. Due to Citizen Baudouin's recent attacks of hysteria, it is understood that if and when the position of Director of Finances, currently held by Citizen Baudouin, comes open and available, it is decided that you, acting counselor to Baudouin, will take his position at an annual recompensation of 800 livres, I think is how you say it. Citizen Leferve, Magistrate. Hmm. Okay. Potential motive right there. Anything over in the corner? Let's just... Aha, in the corner. Okay. A genealogical tree showing that Legal is directly descended from Johannes Metz Metzger. Is that the red ghost? By any chance? You know what? I'm gonna look him up right now. Let's go ahead and just do that because it's fun to do this. Well, it looks like the German Wikipedia has an article on him. <laughs> and apparently Johannes Metzger has a Twitter. So you know what? We're gonna stop searching right now. Alright, Von Gluck Mansion. Let's go ahead over here and see what we can find. Seven locations, and I already have 17 clues to evaluate. Jesus Christ, my brain. You sound so intelligent. Yeah. Alright, here we go. The Von Gluck Mansion. Who can I talk to in here? Nobody? Alright, that's cool. I'll just investigate. Don't mind me. Empty bottles. Empty schnapps bottles. Okay. And here, another letter. A report. Out of the way, please. Thank you. A report from a private detective who confirms Von Gluck's suspicions concerning his wife. Oh, my. What if the private detective is Baudouin's assistant? What if that's it? So, like, they keep have a reason to spy on his own master director, I guess. Because... If it ends up that the dude wants to kill him, then he'll just get a promotion. I think I'm on to something here. Okay, and the other two clues are down here. One of them is some woman I can talk to, I think. Yes, you. Hello. Are you Brigitta? My husband can be very, very jealous, but he isn't the sort of man to kill anybody. Austrian. Interesting. Statement of Brigitta von Gluck. Okay. And I'm assuming you're the husband. Members of the walking club. Oh, well, fuck you too. Okay. You're just giving me more and more reasons to suspect you, bro. Statement of Herr Friedrich von Gluck. Friedrich Frankenstein. It is, it's Frederick Frankenstein. That's 4 4 at the von Gluck <laughs> mansion. Alright. Well, fine then. Talk to me again. I do not answer to members of the. Bitch. Apothecary shop. Okay. Sure. Let's head over there. Alright, here we are at the apothecary shop. Let's see what we got. One clue. Okay, I'm just talking to this guy. Alright. Bonsoir, monsieur. Yes, I made that elixir. It's just a few herbs tossed together to make something that stinks. Uh, a wealthy fellow, uh, Baudouin, came in. Wanted something to keep spirits away. Oh. I told him he was a fool, but he paid well enough for me to concoct this. 
So you're telling me that you just made it for him to humor him? It doesn't actually do anything? Made an elixir for the victim who wanted something to keep spirits away. Okay. Gambling den and the victim's house. Okay. Let's go to the gambling den first. You bitches! Yup. Stairs? Okay, that's a good start. Uh, I actually- I have- I don't think I mentioned it, but I did go back to all the single player missions I didn't get full sync on. I went back and got full sync, and I did the- the uh, assassination of Monsieur Le Pelletier, which is right here in this room, and uh, I did poison him. It was pretty cool. <laughs> hey, found it! What the hell happened here? Nothing of my concern, apparently. Excuse? I don't care. You owe me. Creditor to the victim. No. Okay. Um, I'm not accusing you right off the bat. That would be premature. Let me see. Ele I hate this. Seriously. Who thought this was a good idea? Thank you. Oh my god. It's the same tip. The game is just trolling me now. Oh. oh my god, it's the same tip. It just keeps popping up over and over again. Jesus fucking Christ. A ledger showing the names of four men and their gambling debts owed. The names are Gabriel Baudouin, Donatien Alphonse Francois de Sade, okay. Le Pelletier, Saint, good god, and Fried Friedrich von Gluck. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I like how they put Marquis de Sade's name on there. What about here? I swear to Christ, if you pop up in my face one more time without precedent, I will shut the tips off. Shutting you off. A dueling pistol case containing only one of a pair of fancy red pistols, because the other one is in the hand of the dead man. Well, Von Gluck would have access to that, since he's been here. So would Donatien Alphonse Francois, but... We'll ignore that. <laughs> okay, one more clue. It couldn't have been Baudouin who cheated. He lost everything. I've seen the papers. His bank is furious. He owes his credit a thousand. Someone was cheating, but who? Well, he was indeed cheating, but not in the way you would think he is, but he's cheating that way too. Someone was cheating, but who? Okay then, I guess I'm done here. Now let's head for Baudouin's house. Okay. It's up here, I'd imagine. Behind this locked door. So if someone started this murder mystery and they didn't have the proper lockpicking qualifications, sucks to be you. Alright, victim's house. Six clues in this tiny little room. Okay, let's see if I can find any without using Eagle Vision. Letter from Councilor Legal. Sir, I know as a fact that the ghost's ghost exists and is dangerous. There is no doubt in my mind that it is capable of horrendous acts that no man should be subject to. The legend says the ghost haunts your office in the Tuileries. I fear for your soul. Your trusted counselor, Irv Legal. Hmm. Sounds like he was trying to get under his skin on purpose. It looks like satanic shit. Numerous crucifixes, rosaries, prayer books, as well as strings of garlic. Apparently intended to ward off evil spirits. Demons. What about this open ledger? Or the note next to it. A suicide note? Dear mother, if you find this, it means I am no longer among the living. The relentless noises and apparitions of the phantom are slowly driving me out of my senses. I see red everywhere, even in my dreams. Dear mother, it is for the best. I put an end to my misery. Aww. Okay. Historical books and papers. I have lots of those over here. <laughs> Books and papers related to the appearances throughout is history, history, I've been hearing too much French, of the Red Ghost of the Tuileries. They show that in 1561, one, aha, Johannes Metzger, a Bavarian known in Paris as Jean Le, Jean Le, Jean Le Cocher, I think, vowed vengeance on the crown at his execution. The appearance of the Red Ghost began at that point and have continued until the present. Ooh. Several books detail investigations at the Tuileries in search of the ghost and recount tales of mysterious noises, secret rooms, and strange apparitions. Is that what was behind that vent in, uh, 
the victim's office. Aha. Who was it who said... Was that Legal? Someone said their genealogy was that, like, showed that they were related to the Red Ghost. Case files. Red Ghost. Counselor's house. That's Legal. Yes. A genealogical tree showing that Legal is directly descended from Johannes Mex. Ooh. A box of glass files marked with an apothecary stamp indicating 137 Rue Saint Honore. That's a new location, is it not? Or is that the same apothecary? I think it's the same. Oh, there's number six. Letter from creditor. Our ruse is a success. None of the gambling party suspects... None of the gambling party suspects you because they believe you lost everything as well. Your secret bank account is over... F oh, oh, wow. You need never have any financial worries, my friend. Your creditor, Marc Andre. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's four here. Five, six. Where's number seven? I'm thinking something here, guys. I've been wandering around for quite a while, actually. But, uh... Yeah, I, th I think... I don't know. Something back here isn't sitting right with me. So I'm gonna... Yeah. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I was gonna go and check the vent. And there's the other side of the vent. I think. Okay, then. Five clues in here. Let's see what we got. A series of wooden levers evidently controlling various mechanical devices. Okay. What's this? Various drums, whistles, and bells. The noises he was hearing through the walls. Someone was just terrorizing him over here. That is so sad. Let's look at this first. A pot containing a brush and red paint. It's not blood, it's red paint. Oh, wow. A simple mouthpiece connected to a tube leading into the wall. Wow, you guys suck. That is awful. And let me guess what I'm gonna find in here. Red clothes? Yep, a garment made of red cloth. Okay, you guys suck. I was really leaning towards the husband. I'm leaning towards Legal now. Legal has access to all of this. I think it's him. But before I jump to a conclusion, let me just go ahead and review the evidence. A lot of evidence to review here. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Legal. I'm gonna go with my gut. My gut saying Legal. I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna head right over here. If Arno decides to move. Okay, there we go. Alright, where's Legal? I'm going to accuse him. Which one of you is Legal? I think it's you. My name is Legal. Yes. Counselor to Director of Finance Bodewire. He locked himself in his office well over a day ago. For some weeks he's been in a state of agitation. It's very sad. All the stuff that points to you. There's some stuff that points to the husband, like he found out about an affair. Yada yada yada. But this guy had access to all of the trickery stuff. So I think he did it. The red paint, the clothes. You did it. He was a weak man. I'd make a far superior director of finance. It was for the good of the country. Woo! You know what? If I hadn't have found that secret room, I might have suspected the husband. But I don't know. He had more to gain. I mean, plus, he knew he was cheating, getting all the money out and everything, so... If you want to take any longer to load, that's cool. Thank you. Alright. For God's sake, he killed himself. Why am I here? He killed himself because of you, though. Alright, police chief. What are you, like, in a coma? You're always sleeping. I'm not altogether certain it wasn't the ghost, but someone has to be brought to trial. And take what you like. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the ghost. Did I show you the evidence of the secret room? Let's go ahead and read the case summary. I want to find out if the husband actually had anything to do with it. Shady characters mixed up in this one, eh? Fancy pistol. Awesome. Shady characters mixed I like that one. That one was difficult. Okay. 
Can I read the case summary? Oh, no, wait. It's not going to show up in my face because I have the tips turned off. Whoopsie. My bad. Citizen Baudouin was goaded into suicide by Counselor Legal. Legal wanted to take Baudouin's position and, as he happened to be a descendant of the man who started the Red Ghost legend, used the tricks and gimmicks of his ancestors to serve his own purposes. Von Gluck had motive to kill Baudouin, but he was too drunk to take action. Baudouin's creditor was, in fact, working with Baudouin in a scheme to cheat others. Okay, so he had motive, but that was it. Yeah, there was actually there was no actual evidence tying him to the crime. You just know that he hated his guts because he was sleeping with his wife. Shut up! No! Fuck you! Fuck you!